Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create an API to get the car by ID or the customer. So let's get started. You can see here the Angular application. So let me create here a new component. So the component name is book car. Let's register this component in customer module.ts. So here I'm going to add the path that is a book slash colon id. And here we need to load component that is a book or component. So let's go to our customer dashboard component.html and here I'm going to uncomment this div. So you can see the button that is update. Let me update the name that is a book. And here we need to add the router link. So it will be a slash customer slash book. And here we need to pass car ID. So let's save this. So let me click on this book button. And you can see it's navigating us to book car component. Let's go to our Spring Boot application and create an API. So you can see the customer service interface. Here I'm going to create a method. So the return type of this method that is a car DTO. And name of the method that is a get car by ID. In the argument, it will receive an ID that is a type of a long. So let's go to our customer service impulse. And here I'm going to implement this method so first of all we need to get car by id from the car repository so here i'm going to create an object that is a optional car and here we need to call car repository and the method that is a find by id and here we need to pass car id after that, we need to check in the condition that is a optional car is present. Then we need to move in the if block. Otherwise, we will return here none. And here we need to return optional car dot get dot get car DTO. So let me fix this. Okay. So let's go to our customer controller. And here I'm going to create method. So the method will be a public response entity over here and here i'm going to add car dq and name of the method that is a get car car id and we need to get car id from the url so here we need to add annotation that is at the red path variable long car id and here we need call method from our customer service that is a get car by id and here we need to pass car id and here i'm going to create an object of car dto and here we need to check in the condition if car dto is equal is equals to null then we need to return here response entity dot not found dot build in case if car dto not null then we need to return here response entity dot okay and in the argument we need to pass here car dto so on the top i'm going to add annotation that is at the rate get mapping and the url of this api that is a slash car slash car id From the application, and you can see application started. Let's go to our Angular project and call this API. Let's go to our customer service, and here I'm going to copy this method. And then after that, let me update the name that is a get car by ID. In the argument, it will receive a car ID that is a type of a number and here we need to add the url of this pi that is a 
slash API slash customer slash car slash car ID. So let me close this and let's go to our book car component dot ts. So first of all, I'm going to add here constructor where we will be inject our customer service. So it will be a private service from customer service. And here I'm going to add ng on init life cycle hook. Let me create your method after that. That is a get card by id in the constructor i'm going to inject activated route and it will be from activated route so we need to get car id from the url so here i'm going to initialize variable with the number that is the car id and here we need to call this dot activated route snapshot dot params and here we need to pass the variable name that we have declared in customer routing so let me add here the brackets so you can see let me copy this and we need to add here so here we need to call service and the method that is a get car by id and here we need to pass car id let's subscribe this save the response into this variable that is a mess and here i'm going to add console.log to print the result into our console let me invoke this method in lifecycle hook so it will be a this dot get car by id so let's save this let's go to our ui and let me log in the customer So let's click on this book button and you can see it's navigating us to book car component and you can see the car id and you can see the console that we are getting the data from the database so let's go to our dashboard component and let me click on this book button of this car and you can see the id and the data that we got from the database so we need to show this car into our ui so let's go to our customer dashboard and here i'm going to copy all of this code and i'm going to add here so here we just need to remove this loop because we are getting only one car so here i'm going to initialize variable that is a car that is a type of any and the second variable that is a processed image and it will also a type of any and here i'm going to call this dot processed image and here we need to give this string so let me copy this and add here so it will be a rest of returned image and after that we need to call here this dot bar and here we need to give rest okay so let's go to our book car component dot html and here i'm going to add eric ng if directive where we will check if we have a car then we need to show this div otherwise not so let me make it i m a g e so copy this and remove this car dot from here and we need to add here okay so let me close the console let's go to our dashboard and let me click on this book button and you can see we are getting the car all right so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can document and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye